In this problem, water flows through a horizontal pipe at the speed of 10 meters per second and a pressure of 2.5 times 10 to the fifth pascals. The pipe then narrows and the water speed goes up to a 20 meters per second. The question asks, what is the pressure in the narrow section of the pipe? In order to solve this problem, we need to use Bernoulli's principle. In this case, using the equation associated with a change in pressure. This equation reads pressure plus one half density of the liquid times the velocity of the liquid squared plus density times gravity times the height of the pipe is equal to a constant value. Because this equation for Bernoulli's principle is equal to a constant, we can say that the value of the equation for Bernoulli's principle for the first section of the pipe will be exactly equal to the value of Bernoulli's equ equation for the second section of the pipe. When written out, this means P1 plus 1 half rho 1 V1 squared plus rho 1 g h1 will be equal to p2 plus one half rho 2 v2 squared plus rho 2 g h2. In reading the problem, we can see that the pressure of the first section of the pipe is 2.5 times 10 to the fifth pascals. So p1 is equal to 2.5 times 10 to the fifth pascals while the velocity in the first section of the pipe is equal to 10 meters per second. So V1 is equal to 10 meters per second. Reading the next part of the problem, we can see that the water speed goes up to 20 meters per second, so V2 is equal to 20 meters per second. And we need to solve for the pressure in the narrow section of the pipe, or P2. And as always, we have our constant values of gravity, equal to 9.8 meters per second squared. And since we use water in both sections of the pipe, rho is equal to 1,000 kilograms per meter cubed. Because the height never changes throughout the procedure, meaning H1 is equal to H2, rho 1 GH1 will be equal to rho 2 GH2. Again, this is because rho, the density of water, G and H are constant. As a result, we can remove them from the equation. This leaves us with P1 plus 1 half rho 1 V1 squared is equal to P2 plus 1 half rho 2 V2 squared. Again, the subscript of 1 refers to the first section of the pipe, while the subscript 2 refers to the second section of the pipe. We can algebraically rearrange the equation to get P2 the pressure in the narrow section of the pipe on one side so that we can solve for it. This will give us P1 plus 1 half rho 1 V1 squared minus 1 half rho 2 V2 squared will be equal to P2. When we substitute in the numbers, we get 2.5 times 10 to the fifth pascals plus 1 half 1,000 kilograms per meter cubed times 10 meters per second entirely squared minus 1 half times 100 kilograms per meter cubed times 20 meters per second squared is equal to P2. When we perform the calculation, we get P2 is equal to 1 times 10 to the 5th pascals. Using Bernoulli's equation, this is our answer.